HDR stands for High Dynamic Range Photography, and today we're covering that off. In its simplest form, HDR photography is when you take a photo too dark, one too bright, and one normally exposed, and you combine them all together. What this does is, say, your photo and your camera has a limitation of how bright and how dark a part of your scene can get before it just loses information. Before that white scene, that bright scene just turns to white and there's nothing else left, and the darkest part of your photo just goes to black and there's nothing else left. So the reason you take a bright photo, a dark photo, and a normal one and combine them all together is to get around that limitations of your camera's dynamic range. It's actually a really easy process to do. You take a bright photo, a dark photo, and a normal exposed photo, and you try and get them as similar as possible to each other, and you don't change your white balance, you don't change your focus, etc., if you can help it. You then get those three images, you chuck them into, say, Lightroom, right-click, photo merge, HDR. When using it, say, in Lightroom, there are a couple of things to be careful of. You don't want to get any, like, weird ghosting overlaps as it tries to blend the images together, so you do have to pick your settings a little bit careful, but overall, it's relatively simple. What I don't like about HDR photography is I feel like it's nearly not necessary and lots of people really love to overdo it, overcook it, overprocess their images. What I mean is if you Google HDR photography, you'll see a few images come up that just look heavily edited and they lose authenticity. They look fake, they look overdone. And personally, and I know a lot of photographers agree with me, it's not a good look. Try and avoid that. And what I mean by it's not necessary is more and more newer, better cameras have such a broad dynamic range and what you can pull out of those raw files, it nearly makes doing the process not required. However, it still has its uses and it still can be a great way to get around a bright and contrasty kind of day. For example, architecture photography. If you were inside a house and you need to shoot a view of inside with a view outside the window and you want outside that window to be nicely exposed as well, HDR photography can be a great way to get those multiple different exposures, different lighting situations, and combine them together into one image, which has a great exposure the whole way through. So this was actually always going to be really tricky for me today because one, it is very, very cloudy, as in there's not a high amount of dynamic range required, and there is a lot of wind. The reason wind is tricky is because as you're taking multiple photos, items and landscape move in the wind. Branches, leaves, trees, even water just rippling, etc. And as they move, they get very harder to combine. If you had, say, someone waving, and you took a photo here, a photo there, and a photo there, when you're trying to combine them together, you'd have three arms that you're trying to blend together, and especially if they're in different parts of light and exposure and need blending, it really struggles. So doing this on a windy day was tricky. However, I eventually managed to find a nice little puddle just near a fence, and it's, like I said at the start, HDR photography is really not for me. So I intentionally overcooked this a little bit more than my style, and in the end it's actually not too bad, but just to give the HDR look to meet the requirements. What do you guys think about HDR? Do you think it's overdone and overcooked and it's not really necessary and should be avoided? Or do you think it has a place? Or do you just completely love it or hate it altogether? If you could let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on that HDR look, if you've been using it before, if you've seen other work of it, I'd love to hear your views about HDR photography. As always though, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you want to join on this challenge or any other challenge, feel free to hashtag TV photo challenge. I'd love to see all your work. and. The sink house. I feel like I miss sink. What was I meant to say? If you could like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, it would mean the world to me and help me get one step closer to doing this full time for a living. Plus, if you would like to join in tomorrow, you can more than welcome to watch me try and take some photos of water. <laughs> <laughs>